What is up guys, it's Crow, and before this video starts, I'd like to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date on videos and streams, to not miss out on content when it drops. And for streams that come out, that are not visible, because YouTube is weird like that, so make sure to check notifications and all that good stuff. And I'd like to thank everyone so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, what is up? It is Crow, and this is not Batman Arkham Origins, as it looks, as you can see. Uh, this is actually Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, it's a challenge map, and the main reason why I'm showing this off is because, uh, Crow's about to squawk, I guess? I guess it'd be a squawk, but, uh, yeah. Uh, the reason why I am not going to be able to record Batman Arkham Origins is because that, the uh, PlayStation streaming thing, the PlayStation Plus thing that it's making, she costs like a hundred bucks. Um, yeah, it doesn't let you record stuff nor take screenshots. So that's a great feature it's got. Um, but yeah, uh, sadly, that means I will not be able to record Batman Arkham Origins. Um, so plot synopsis will be probably given throughout uh, events that require it, like uh, Firefly, Explanation, Black Mask, and all that. Uh, I will give an explanation for when this stuff comes up. Uh, obviously, I can't do visual things, but uh, other than that, yeah. Uh, other wise, everything should be fine. I'm just upset that uh, you had to pay all that money for it. And one, uh, Batman, uh, like I said, is a rant. Batman Arkham Origins, you can only stream it. It's not like it's on the console itself. You have to let PlayStation stream it to you. Um, it's a big problem because you're paying that much money for it. You expect to have the product. And not only that, the game runs like shit. I know I don't have the best internet in the world, but Time Warner Cable Empire should run it pretty well. Other than that, if the game can't be streamed, just let me download it onto the console. Uh, a lot of the multiplayer features that came with Batman Arkham Origins are no longer active. Um... So, there's no reason why it shouldn't just be on the system. Um, other than that, that means that next on the agenda will be Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, and as you see, I suck at the game. Um, yeah, I'm so upset. I was quite enjoying the game while it was running well. Uh, I can say that. Uh, the game really did not look well. I'll say that. So... Yeah, it was so dumb. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I was trying to show it off. I got a trophy or two while playing it. And it came up with the PlayStation 3 one. I was like, oh, that's why. And the controls were off. I, just, I was like, oh, this is different. I was like, hmm. That didn't feel right. But, uh, yeah. Context will be given when events from Arkham Origins does come up. Uh, I have played it before, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, there is one other thing, though, that needs to be said, and since I'm here talking about Batman Arkham Origins, I think that it should get a remaster. I'm not the first one to think of it, but it really does need one, because a lot of the stuff that happens in the future ones really do require that you've played more than just Asylum City, because the events of Arkham Knight do make it seem like Jim Gordon, you were close, and throughout the all three of these games, you really don't spend that much time with Jim. Uh, so, a remaster would be nice. Are we going to get it? Probably not, because the Wii... I mean, not the Wii. Well, I guess the Wii U port of it came out. For the other games on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, which, I guess, run fine, is what I've been told. I don't know. I don't own it. I bought it for a friend of mine. <laughs> for a Halloween I mean, of Halloween, Christmas. Well, I guess probably play for Halloween. But other than that, um, 
everything should go as planned as long as Arkham Asylum runs well. Um, yes, it's just really bad that Arkham Origins is not available. Especially since I was quite enjoying it. It plays like City, I understand that. But I liked all the things that came with Origins, except the upgrade system. I got really confused when I saw that. I was like, oh, that's weird new in a way but yeah uh i'm sorry i'm truly sorry that we cannot go through arkham origins but it is what it is it's not even playstation's fault it's mostly wb's because they won't re-release the game that all of us have been clamoring for at least a little i understand that it didn't get good reception on release but, like, it's got a cult following now. Like, God. It's got to be, like, over 10 years. Because it came out in, like, 2013. Yeah, it came out right before the next generation, which would be the PS4 and the Xbox One. Uh, it was, like, the last gen game you could buy before it. It's kind of like what they did with, uh... God, what they do? I think it's Assassin's Creed Rogue in Uni or Good Thing. Rogue was for the last gen. Uni was for next gen. Kind of similar things. Except it's required for story purposes. Even though it contradicts things that happened in Asylum. Which I guess Asylum even doesn't make sense in cities. Anyways, yeah. So Origins not be playable. I'm sorry. Yet again. Keep saying I'm sorry. It's like an apology video. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, Anything else on Bolton for this episode? No. Uh, yeah, so next one up on the list would be Asylum with context of Origins, eh, especially in, I guess, Night, which I'm pl not planning on getting to this year because they're really long games. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background and with my dumb rants of spending so much money on just the plus membership that I didn't need uh, and probably will rant about in the near future due to the fact that if three PS3 games had to be streamed, that means future games like Ratchet and Clank's or let's see, like Rage and all like Bethesda games that I would play can't be played. But, uh, yeah, it's, it sucks. It really does suck. Um, oh God, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I got a script and I don't, working around it is really hard, you know, it, it just really sucks. Um, I know a lot of things aren't doable due to, uh, limitations, obviously, but, uh, Obviously, if Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League does poorly, I think for like a kind of save your money kind of aspect, they should remake Arkham Origins. Don't just port the damn thing because I can see it turning out dog shit. You got to remaster it at least. Don't fully remake it. Remaster. Give it a little bit of an upgrade like Arkham Asylum you see in the background. A little bit of a tweak here and there. You know, get it running well, like the gameplay in the background of these Arkham games. Because otherwise, it, one, it just feels weird not having all of the Arkham games all, you know, playable. Instead, it's like, oh, there's the one black sheep. You got to play on a Xbox. You actually had an Xbox. The only one I think you can still play it on because it's a game disc they'll let you use. Well, as the PlayStation won't, and that's what I record on, because Xbox won't let you record. Um, that's a more of a rant on them, but yeah, it sucks. I'm sorry for not being able to give you content for that. But in return, I will do, after this video probably is uploaded, or probably while it is uploaded, um, will be the Batman Arkham Asylum playthrough uh, that I'm doing. For the channel. I know Juggy did it. So if you. If I haven't recorded. 
Asylum, please go check out Dark Juggy. Uh, he has a couple of episodes of Arkham Asylum that he did. They're funny. Uh, <laughs> honestly, my buddy does a really good job. So go check him out. Uh, and with that being said, I think that's all I have to rant about. Um, I'm s still so sorry that I cannot give you Arkham Origins. It is a really good game. Uh, if you've played it, please play it. If you can, get a hold of it, play it. I know it's hard. Like I, I, I have the same problem. It's really hard to find the game to play. But uh, if you can, if you have like an Xbox or a PC, because I know that's pretty good on a PC, um, get a hold of it. Especially since it, it really needs to get remade. I, I know it's getting to more of a, what I want, but uh, I definitely think Arkham Origins could do with a remake, especially since it had like a weird multiplayer, which I didn't think was weird. I thought it was badass. It takes place like a couple years afterwards, because in the D in the multiplayer you play as I think it's Joker's Bane's. Or, in penguins guys i don't think two-face had guys yet but you play as the villains little henchmen and you have batman and robin getting you and it's dick grace and robin which really confuses me why he's not in i don't think he's in um challenge maps he's not in them as robin that'd be cool i want to play dick grace and robin that is another thing if they did re Master, someone's going to be like, oh, I just have it on PC. I'll be fine. But uh, I think they should add something like that. Like a Dick Grayson Robin. Like, show his origin story a little bit. Because they showed Mr. Freeze's in the game, which is another downside to people not being able to experience Cold Hearts. Which is basically like a reenactment of the animated series episode. They introduced Mr. Freeze. Um, yeah, we missed out on so much good sh stuff because <laughs> of I don't want to say greediness I just want to say more or less it's ignorance of what people want you know no one wants a live service game well, look at Avengers that didn't do well so I kind of hope that with the success and or failure of the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League game if they go out and actually remake the games that were great. So, that means give me an Arkham Origins remake. Or remaster, one of the two. I prefer remaster with extra content. Even if you had to cut the multiplayer, uh, letting us play Robin in challenge maps would be awesome. Or do something more... I guess they really couldn't. I was going to say they could do something like Arkham Knight, but it would take that kind of game file to do it, where there's team takedowns, but uh, I think Batman's outside my house. <laughs> Talking shit about him, he's gonna kick my ass now. I'm recording. What the? F Anyways, that's gonna be in there. I'm not going to edit that out. Um, yeah. I'm so upset about it. I have so hope. And I know a lot of people are going to probably say that the remasters aren't going to look good for, especially Arkham Asylum. I think it looks fine. Like, if it's anything like Arkham Asylum or in cities, I'd be fine. In fact, it probably would be on par with Arkham Knights graphics which are phenomenal gameplay wise it's just not that good i prefer the asylum actually a little bit some things i didn't like in the challenge maps you'll probably see in the background there's a little uh what's the word i don't want to say delay i want to say um bullshit frames uh what i mean by bullshit frames is when i'm hitting an enemy that's about to that I had to counter instead of just letting me just punch him in the face like I would norm like you would normally. It's like why would I counter if I can just rock him, sock him, and you're like aimed on another enemy, you know. It minor things. They obviously polish it in 
the sequels. Like, Arkham Knight, you're fucking flying left and right. Arkham City, even. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I know it's gonna probably never get remade to Origins 8, which really sucks. Even, like, a fan project, it'd still only be on the PC. But, uh, yeah. I hope... I, that's all you can do at this point in, with the game industry now is hope and pray to God. <laughs> Any God. I don't care if you have to pray to Kratos. <laughs> uh, that it gets... That games get remade. Like... That definitely is... A, like, obviously niche games. Niche. In quotations. I'm doing the finger things. Uh, it's... It's just really sad that we have to basically beg for a freaking remake of stuff. Or remasters. And that's really bad. That's really sad. Especially since it's like a, a, a large amount of people would pay for it. I'd pay more for an Arkham Origins remake. Or fucking, I keep saying remake. Remaster over Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Which. I'll get into in a minute. In like a separate video. Like after the game comes out. I'll get into that. But right now it's Origins. And all that. Everything would be fine. Just gotta polish up a couple things. Make it so it's playable on all platforms. The Switch included. Which shouldn't be that bad. Or the other games do. Arkham Knight plays on the Switch. Think about that. Knight is played on the Switch. And that game's huge and beautiful. Does it have a little bit of down quality? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But yeah. Sad day in gaming. We have to say, damn, I can't play this game. <laughs> I can, but uh, you can't see it. And uh, it gave me a headache while playing it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. That gave me a headache. Because the graphics went sh into the dumper. I was like, uh... What's the point of streaming a game if I can't do stuff? And here's where the bullshit starts. Where I get my ass kicked. What the? Yeah. Get a couple free hits on. Bullshit. Uh, sequels fixes. It's sad. He goes down in quality <laughs> if you do it timeline-wise. This guy goes down in quality. Ah. Uh. This is so bad. It's bad. It's rough, kids. I don't know. Uh, it's also bad because there were some cool skins in that game, too. I really want to play with. Like, there's the Injustice skin. If you do, like, all the challenge maps, you get it. And uh, another thing about... I'm going on a rant about the PlayStation Plus thing. It won't let you access the DLC stuff, which if you didn't know, there's only like a couple suits in the game, but you have to unlock them in like really weird ways. Like the Injustice one, you got to get like the top tier, like I think it's like three bad ranks, which is basically like getting a gold um, in these challenge maps, which is really weird because challenge maps were like, oh, let me fuck around for a little bit. You know, we can just dodle around a little bit. Because I didn't really, I'm not really into challenge maps, understand that. Especially like, this right here. It's like, I just did it for shits and giggles so I can remember the controls. But yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh Damn. My ADHD's kicking it hard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but yeah. Man. Uh, zippy zippy Batman zippy zippy and probably in another video I'll probably get into after Justice League is murdered by the Suicide Squad it's that stupid fucking game that's so dumb it's so dumb it's a live service game but rants for another day right now it's that all the DLC is not on the PlayStation Plus thing, which is dumb. Like, Cold Hearts ain't there. A bunch of suits. And PlayStation had the exclusives 
if you didn't know. Because in Arkham Asylum, they had the Scarecrow challenge maps. They had Joker. And I forget what other skins they had. I know in Night, they had the Adam West skin. Which is weird, because you get the Burt Ward skin on Xbox. A lot of people just mod over it to the PC, which PC's okay with that. That's why GTA's not going to be on it. Uh, yeah. It's weird. There's like PlayStation's like their exclusive content for the game and you can't access it. Dumb. Really dumb since a lot of the skins are really cool and then don't show up ever again. It would be a really good spot to actually add the uh, the Batman skin. I, the Pattinson Batman suit, I should say. That suit to the game, but because it technically takes place around the same time, because he's two years into his career, and I think in the Batman he was two years into his career. It would be a perfect place to put it. Plus, it was dark and edgy in that one too, so it, it fit perfectly. I don't know why they don't do it. I would have done that when the Batman came out. It's like, you know what? I have an idea. We have this other developer do like they did beforehand, where they just made a game in the background, except it's just a remaster. Cool skins. What a twist! Is you just couldn't have Ben Affleck's bat suit in there because, you know, he has to be old man Bruce. And being like twenty something years old doesn't work. Uh, also, another problem with Arkham Origins that is a uh, storyline thing is that it takes place five years, is what the thing says. It takes five years before Asylum. He's gone through three Robins and. Uh, five years making Bruce if he's tw I want to say like 22 makes him like 28 and Dick and it's like a year maybe so afterwards I call it bullshit I give it like 15 years in my head canon it's 15 years between like a good amount of time for Dick Grayson to go from Nightwing uh, Robin to Nightwing and then Jason Todd to die off screen. And for him to get Jason. Also, Barbara's paralyzed in Asylum. So I'm like, she went from a teenager to paralyzed in Batgirl at one point. What? In five years? What the fuck, Bruce? <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's sad. So, <sighs> just upsetting that Warner Brothers wouldn't just fucking at least give a shitty ass port. That would somewhat good graphics. But, you know, game developers will be game developers. But, uh, yeah, it's enough crow ranting. I'll probably rant a lot more in the future. Uh, in videos like this, you know, uh, be a lot more ranty. I can come up with so much other stuff. Uh, I'll probably rant with a couple friends about games later. But, uh, as for now, Arkham Origins will not be recorded un unless tomorrow Warner Brothers is like, oh, with Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League, there's a remaster of Batman Arkham Origins so you can have the whole saga of Batman. They're probably not going to do it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're on time. See you guys next time. Crow out. Peace.